Hey guys, um, so you guys have no idea how I'm feeling now. <laughs> really, I, I, I woke up and then I did some breathing exercise, I did some meditation. It actually did help me to calm down, but then, um, then I decided to go for a walk because I was very anxious. When I'm anxious, I had to do like a lot of things to, um, I don't know whether it's to distract or, you know, just to keep myself busy. So I, I'm the kind of person who needs to do a lot of things when, I, um, when I'm in an anxious mood. So I cleaned all my balcony, I cleaned my bedroom, and then um, I went for a walk. And after two minutes going out for a walk, I instantly thought that, oh, I have a work today. Like, uh, translation work for like a couple of hours. So I have to get back and cook a meal for myself and then get ready for that. It's not even 10 o'clock yet. It's just 9 o'clock at this point. But I couldn't focus on one thing. <laughs> so I'm just doing like multiple things at a time. And I'm very, very anxious about tonight. Um, I hope I could make it. So right now I'm trying to make the capsicum, green chili, um, green chili, garlic, and I've got leftover onion in here. So I'm just gonna make egg fried rice like really quick. I just put the rice um, in the rice cooker and I'm just gonna make it quickly. And then, yeah, I'll see how my, uh, how the rest of the day goes it's actually like normal like i have whole morning whole day for myself until 10 30 at night time but i can't stop thinking about it that's how anxious i am but um if i you know i was thinking like why i didn't say during the interview about the night shift well it's good that i didn't say anything about the night shift because i think if i would have said that uh, i wouldn't get this job so I didn't put any condition. All I said was like, I need two consecutive day off, uh, one after another. And obviously the pay is uh, higher than what I'm getting from my previous job. So yeah, that's a bonus point. And then two consecutive day off so that I can uh, spend time with my family, with ten, with Jigdale and his family. Because families, for me, families, oh my God, it, they're everything. Like they're my uh, healing therapy. Even if we get busy doing stuff, running here and there and try to adjust our time but still families are everything for us and for me so um i'm a very family oriented and on the top of that good thing is jigdo is a very family oriented too so it's win and win all right so i'm just gonna make my fry rice and i'll see you guys then because i don't want to talk rubbish while i'm in an anxious and um yeah anxious mode okay okay <clears throat> Uh, so I'm just gonna use this cow ghee. Um, I think it's gonna go well with rice. So um, I'm not actually a good cook or anything, but um, my mom always says that at least know how to cook what you want to eat, you know? So I always try whatever I want to eat. I always try to cook on my own way, but I'm a really bad server. You know, I when I cook for others and when I cook a large amount of meal, um, I can't really do well, but then I remember when I was in the yoga school um, and when I was doing, when I was studying Reiki, um, so in the Reiki it says that whenever you serve something to other, just serve it nicely from your, from your heart and then um, serve, serve, oops, serve the meal how you want it to be served and how or what you are eating. Um, so if you do everything from your heart, so there is this energy and things that we study. So it was a good saying. Um, so I always try to cook the way I wanted to be eaten and then I wanted to be served. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I'm just doing all the things, 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 things. And also my mom always uh, tells me that whenever you fry garlic or onion make sure that it turns brown and when it turns brown the smell oh my god the smell is so good smell, oh, I think it's the ghee it's so amazing so I added um, a green chili onion <clears throat> and garlic and I've got the capsicum as well so I'll just go and show you there we go. Now the onions and everything is turned into brown, so I'm just going to add the capsicum on the top of it. Okay. 
Okay, so I've got my rice here and then I like to have the rice with seaweed so I just love this. Mm, seaweed. And then fried rice without pickle is you know missing something out of everything. So I'm just gonna have a very tiny pickle, like very less, like this much. Because um it's in the morning. Usually it's not really good to have pickle because it's all prepared fermented so it's not always nice to have pickle early in the morning with empty stomach even though it's not early it's almost oh, half past nine so yeah i'm just gonna prepare a drink with this and then i'm gonna watch something and let's have it together all right so i've just uh, boiled water but before that i just want to show you something this is like pure honey from a uh, honeycomb from one of my friend so he does this uh, as a hobby so i requested him to get some and he did which is really really kind of him see this is like the organic organic honey from honeycomb from his own um courtyard and then if you want to see the honeycomb let's see so i've had half of this because um i've given half of this to tenzin's family and then i had like this wax uh, it was nice when you chew it, but then it, it this is a wax, so eventually you have to spit out the amount of the wax that left after chewing because it's very um, hard after chewing everything. Alright, so this is all I am going to have with the honey and tea. Obviously, honey really helps to uh, strengthen your abdomen. If you know, strengthen in terms of it helps you to produce not produce it helps you to keep it warm and when your digestive system is good everything is good so you just keep your digestive system healthy good oral intake lots of hydration like stay hydrated drink a lot of water if you can instead of coffee and all those other stuff so i'm ready for my brunch kind of brunch I... and here's the seaweed and now i'm just gonna watch something that's it so um usually i like to uh, eat with with my hand because it's really really tasty i love um rice lentil rajma you know rajma chawal and dal uh, they, they are amazing and the smells so good mm. really nice it's really nice i'm love that i'm proud of myself so yeah um and so in my routine what happens is i only eat two meals per day mm, i don't do any like snacks in between i do lots of um drink lots of water because um at work so you only get two breaks one just for tea tea break where you where i drink a lot of food a lot of water <laughs> to be very honest it's a lukewarm water because i can't do like cold cold water and then the next break is around one o'clock where i eat my lunch well brunch it's a brunch i eat my brunch and then uh, finish at three get back home and then we have early dinner so that's all we do like two i do like two meals a day that's all i can do and i'm not used to with like three meals a day which is really challenging for me and then when i go to other places like they offer um i can't do it but then i can't just like um you know um, isolate myself from not eating when everybody's eating so that's it and i'm just gonna watch something today which is a new bollywood movie by karina kapoor i love her and that's it for now and i shall see you tonight guys have a good day hi everyone so i'm i'm at work um i think the universe has heard my voice that i was very anxious and nervous about my night shift so uh, our team leader like the clinical clinical nurse he called me and asked me to ask if I want to do afternoon instead of morning so I instead of night so I said yes oh my god he saved my life for one day I was so nervous so nervous and very anxious as well so we took to, um, he came back from work at 12 and then he dropped me to the translation work and then dropped me to work I survived for today but uh, yeah, I'm just looking forward to do tomorrow night shift and I, I still hope that they call me early to do afternoon instead of night but somehow I have to do so um, I just have to be ready my mind has to be ready so right now I'm on my break uh, and the weather outside is very cloudy so there is no one no one in there no one 
everyone in the break room, so it's just me. I hope I'm not the one who is lost on the floor. <laughs> Alright guys, I'll talk to you guys later. So today is my, well actually second day night shift, but then it, it happens to be my first day again. So tonight I'm really really doing my night shift. Not a joke, no savior. So yes. Um, and today is Sunday, Sunday? Saturday. Today is uh, Saturday. Saturday. Yeah, Saturday. And after, I think after a year or two, I started driving, like I started practicing driving again because I was so sick of going back to driving since I was um, unable to success on my first and second attempt. Uh, it was also, uh, it was also an incident, not an incident, but emotional, emotionally, um, emotional incident that happened with the um, test uh, instructor at the test center. So it really demotivated me, it really um, discouraged me to get back on the track to, you know, go back and do the practice and all. So it's officially again my first time after years to practice the driving and now he's, he is my current new driver instructor. He has offered me to teach me driving like many years ago to be very honest. Three, four years ago he offered me but I always said no, no, no. I've been saying no to him huh, all the time but now this is the time that I have to say yes to him. <laughs> he has to pick me up and drop me off to work all the time so i feel bad at the same time i do night shift so he stays up until i get back home like it always um end up like midnight so i will try my best to release him from <laughs> his du due diligent duty i don't yeah. mind it though i know but, but at every same time it's good too mm. The good thing is that I get to sit in the car and talk to him all the time, blah, blah, blah. I never stop talking. So, yes, and my first night shift and my first driving practice, back to life and welcome back to my channel. Whatever, whatever is happening. All right, guys, so I hope I'll stay rest and I was just going to go to our bakery. It's about to close in 10 minutes. I hope we make it. We could make it. If we do, I will show you what we're going to buy. Stay tuned. We made it! Thanks! Bye, see ya! Bye. Made it! We got it! So this is the one we were talking about, but we didn't get the chocolate one. I was claiming for it, so it's just under the story bridge. If you guys want to come and check out, this is the best croissant that you could find around this area. So, yes. I'll show you what we got in the car. Welcome back. We this is this is the one Christian Jack. It's like a it's it's a French bakery. French bakery and croissants and everything is so good. So it's gonna show you what we have got. But we didn't get what we wanted. So it's yeah, go for it. And that's the almond croissant. So if you want to know the price, it's like eight dollar each. Which is huge. Do you want to like? Do you want to take it out and then take it out and take a bite? <laughs> yeah, you can do that. Take a bite. It's so good. There, there is this chocolate one. It's Ooh, amazing. It is Look oh at this. It's huge. It's water. This is actually how it looks. It's huge. I'm so it's, attentive. I don't know. We had a lot of breakfast this morning. We didn't get what we wanted, so there were like only three of almond left. Distracted, yes, so that's almond. It's eight dollar each. It's Oops. huge. So good that I'm dropping so big it. That I'm dropping it everywhere. Yeah. So that was the one. And then we got a very nice recommended. Two, oh that's two that's plain the croissant. plain croissant. They have they have left only three plain croissant and like a couple of other almonds, so we didn't have another choice, so we just Got it. It's so good, so good. And uh, we got a bread. And the bread. If you wanna know the bread price, it's like eight or almost nine dollar, and the plane was like six dollar. If you are looking uh, forward to come and check. Big. Oh my crunchy too. Oh goodness, this is how it is. 
So oh this time we can just, if, if we can't finish in a day, we can just freeze it and then um, make a toast. And I think it's gonna be so good. It was their own recommend. By the way, it's all fresh made too. Yeah, it's like a fresh Maybe. made. So they, they open at six o'clock, finish at yeah, one o'clock. So basically it's really good. I was looking forward to have this for a long time. We walk um, in, there's not much left anyway. So basically just all uh, whatever they make on a day. Yeah, and then we missed out one, um, the other day when we tried to come here. So mm -hmm. finally we got it. And Can't wait to taste. And the place is right underneath the Story Bridge. Yeah, if you're living in Queensland, Brisbane, it's just right under the Story Bridge near Kingwood Point. And there's a lot of parking around. Good yes. cafe around too. Later Bye. you guys want to go for... Oh, there's a riverside down there. So you can have a picnic there too. So, first night shift. Wish me luck. So, so far I have survived. It's um half past 12. So I've still got like 6, 7 hours to go. Mm. Oh well, I'm alive. So I survived night shift and it's uh, half past seven. I survived. Um, I'm not gonna give any feedbacks or comments, but I survived. And here is my hero again Hello. for him. And uh, we again ended up going back to this one because yesterday we didn't have much flavor options. So today we went there and the queue was so long. By the time we reached there, there were like seven people ahead of us. But then after that, it went all the way to like it's an bus L shape. Stop. Yeah, until the bus stop. So it's very, very popular, very uh, fresh. And um, you just get it like straight away from the chef, chef from the bakery, not from the baker, not the chef. Yeah, so I survived and I'm just gonna go home, get some rest, and then we are going to enjoy Sunday, however it's gonna go. Thank you for watching. Start with a nap. <laughs> I'll start my day with a nap and have a good day, guys. Make sure, not make sure, if you like my videos, please subscribe and share and leave some comments if you think it's necessary. And that's it for today. Bye.